again welcome again to my youtube channel don't forget to subscribe share likes and watch my video this is very helpful when you take the examination for the board exam in mathematics teachers board exam civil service and others please share this video and it will help you a lot okay you can also use your calculator while you are also uh, watch this YouTube because the other board exam like engineering board exam as well as math board exam they are required to use scientific calculator and let's have question number 16 this is part 3 a sorcerer team played 160 games and won 65% of them how many games did it win a 94 b 104 c 114 and d 124 and we know that the percentage for the percentage we have base times the rate okay so they get their games the games won or they have games at least 160 you multiply by point point 0.65 so how do we get the number of winning the game so all you have to do is multiply 160 times point 0.65 and the answer is 160 times 0 0.65 the answer is 104 so the answer is letter B 104 is the total winnings of the games so how do we answer for this one 160 times 0.65 you multiply this one as one time is one time zero time is six is zero six times is five is thirty one time is one time is five is three then this is eight this is already in in zero this is in thirty six this is one time is six is six plus three and nine and the answer is zero zero four and then one and one hundred four so there are two decimal places the answer is one hundred four so there is two decimal you need to move the decimal bits and the answer is one hundred four okay so the answer for this one is letter B. So this is the problem. The Sorcerer team played 160 games and won 65% of them. How many games did it win? The answer is 104. Okay. You need to memorize the percentage base times the rate. Okay. Let's have question number 17. This is question number 17. Okay. This is question number 17. If 2x cubed is equal to 54, what's the value of x? So again, 2x cubed is equal to 54. What's the value of x? You need to divide by 2, divided by 2, and then x will become... 27 so the cube root we know that x is equals to square root of 3 over 27 the answer is 3 because 3 times 3 times 3 is 27 and the answer is letter d okay so another one Let's proceed to another sub an example for number 18. So again, erase this one again. Okay. 
expand and simplify negative 6x multiplied by 2x minus 3 and minus 11. So what will be our given? A negative 12x minus 29, 7 minus 12x, C 12x minus 7, and D 7 plus 12x. So again, we need to write the given 6x, 2x minus 3 minus 11. Multiply this, it will become 12x. And then positive 18 minus 11. So again, we need to combine this one. This is 12x. And 18 plus 11, uh, 18 minus 11, this will become um, minus min, uh, positive 7. So, again, 8 minus 1 is 7. So, the answer is negative 12x plus 7. Is there any 12x plus 7? So, this will be our, I know, this is positive, 12x plus 7. So, negative 12x plus 7 and 12. Okay, the answer is, we can change this one as 7 minus 12x. So, the answer is letter B. So, you, you have also considered this is the positive and this is the negative. Okay, let's have question number 19. Okay, let's have question number 19. Which fraction is bigger than two-thirds? How will you do that in a fraction? Some of you, you can use the calculator if you know how to use the calculator. All you have to do is to Press 2 divided by 3. The answer is 0. 0.66. 2 third is 0. 0.66. While 2 fifth is 0. 0.4. 2 fifth is 0. 0.4. 2 over 4 is 1 half, which is 0. 0.5. And then 3 over 4 is 0.75. So 3 over 4, make note, 3 over 4 is 0.75. 75. So what will be the answer for this one? So which is bigger? Which fraction is bigger from this one? Bigger. I think the answer is 3 over 4. Let's see. Okay. So, three, 2 divided by 3. Let's have this one. 2 divided by 3. But point. We know that 2 divided by 3 is 6. So, i sorry. So, 2 divided by 3. We have this one. We have 26, 18, 2, 0, 0, 6. The answer is 0. 0.66. 6 until continue, so on. And while the 3 fourth, 3 divided by 4 is 3 divided by 4, which is 30. And we have, we know that 3 fourth, uh, sorry. That's already, we have 3 divided by 4. Three divided by 4, we have 40. We have 7. This is 28. This is 2. And the answer is 5. The answer is 0.75. So what will you do is to mu multiply it in a decimal places. That is the one way to get the final answer okay let's have question number 20 so the answer is 3 4 we good so the answer is 3 4 
vou te encher. Question number 21. Okay. In scientific notation, 20,000 plus 3,400,000. 3, 3, so all you have to do is to add 3,400,000 zero, zero, plus 20,000. Again, this is scientific, zero, 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 zero. This is two, four, and then three. How will change that in scientific notation? Again, you need to move decimal place. One, two, three, four. Again. One, two, three, four, five, six. So 3.42... 3.42 times 10 to the 6th power. Do you think we have the 3.42? Is that correct? 3.42 times 10 to the 6th power. So the answer is letter A. Take note, letter A. 3.42 times 10. All you have to do is count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So the answer is letter A. Okay, let's have question number 22. Okay, this one. A customer pays $50 for a copy maker after a discount of $20. What is the original price? Take note. He paid already $50. Then after that, it is already discounted to $20. So you need to say, if we will look for the uh, original price, we need to add 20 plus 50 20 plus 50 is 70 so the answer is 70 the answer is letter b that's very simple 20 plus 50 is 70 the answer is letter b okay let's have